Welcome inside of Mountain America Community Credit Union Iceplex. My name's Jack Bartlett. Alongside me is Brendan Paul. And Brendan, we have a big game tonight. The Arizona State Sun Devils trying to get back on in the win column after going 0-2-1 on the road trip. They host Cal State Northridge tonight. And this is a Cal State Northridge team that's played six or seven games. They've only had about two registered for whatever odd reason on every database <laughs> we've looked at. But this is a big conference matchup in the WCHC. ASU sitting at third place out of six teams. Cal State at fifth. So this will be big to get momentum in those standings and pick up a crucial three points. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned the standings in the conference. It's also the first time that Cal State is in the tier one of the WCHC conference. Absolutely, it'll be exciting to see what they can do. They've had their uh, WC, they've had their Division II team now for a second year, but as you mentioned, the first first time at the Tier One level. So it'll be interesting to see how they shape up against an ASU team who's had some experience at this level and is used to the play of UCLA, GCU, NAU, other teams at this level. Yeah, and it looks like we're about ready to get started. So we will uh, send it away. We'll be right back in in the booth this time. <laughs>
welcome you back inside of the Mountain America Credit Union Iceplex. Just about ready to get wet underway with the faceoff. Again, the Sun Devils looking to bounce back after an 0-2-1 road trip. They lost to Michigan State twice and then in a shootout 3-4 to Davenport. That was their most recent game up until this one tonight. Both teams out on the ice. Here we go away with the face off. The Sun Devils come away with it, dumping it into their offensive zone. It will go across the boards behind the net. Sun Devils try to win it back, but they will be unsuccessful. Northridge with it, stolen away by the Sun Devils. 50-50 here. No one seems to want the possession. Northridge now to ASU. Northridge back with it in the neutral zone. Pass oh, behind the net. Northridge still trying to find the puck up at the crease. Pass behind the net again. Along the boards, they pass it wide, keep it in their offensive zone. Another shot goes just wide right. The Sun Devils have possession. The puck now in the neutral zone. Northridge still with it. That being Christopher Franklin. Northridge in the neutral zone. Pushing up into the attacking zone. A wide pass that can't find anyone. The Sun Devils push it into the neutral zone and Northridge right back with possession. Dumped into the offensive zone of the Sun Devils. Here comes Renbarger. Trying to take it away, but Northridge still maintaining possession as they dump it away. And now the Sun Devils once again dump it back into the offensive zone. Northridge back with possession, quickly losing it though. A stolen puck by Ryan Latz. A shot down blocked by Hayden Manning. The Sun Devils back with the puck in their stick in the neutral zone. Plays it backwards. Pass along the boards. The Sun Devils trying to make something of that and they won't. Dylan Quain loses the puck. And the puck goes into the neutral zone. Sun Devils have it in their defensive zone. Pass into the middle. Quain still has it, a shot blocked by the goalie of Northridge, Nick Schwartz. A shot blocked again by Schwartz. Just the third shot on goal for the Sun Devils tonight. 17 and a half minutes left in the first period. And we're still tied at zero. Both these teams feeling each other out. It's a chess match right now with two and a half, just under two and a half played. It'll be interesting to see which one of these goalies gives first with the pressure being 50-50 each side. Face-off win for Arizona State once again. A quick shot off deflected by Schwartz. Hayden Manning with it. He plays it up that time to Enna Voltsen. The Sun Devils lose it and the Northridge has it in the neutral zone. Arizona State wins it quickly back though. An attacking attempt and there's a goal! From the side, Cole Allison. The first goal of the game about 15 seconds after their second face-off win. What a shot from the freshman Cole Allison out of Santa Rosa, California, not far away from those Matadors up in Northridge. <laughs> he makes them pay one nothing early on here in the first. So another faceoff coming up. Arizona State has taken the first two. Northridge has yet to win a faceoff in the first roughly three minutes of the game. Northridge, though. Looks yeah, like they're going to be undermanned here. Yes. Isaac Anderson going into the penalty box for a two-minute minor. There's another face-off win for Aaron Pardon. Yep, Arizona State wins it. They have it in their defensive zone. Played up along. Quain loses the puck. 
but it seems ASU able to maintain possession. Mason Almisi has it behind the net. He'll skate up into the neutral zone. Now playing it along the boards, Quain passes it up, dumps it along the boards. And that'll be pushed back into the neutral zone. Now the defensive zone of the Sun Devils, Hayden Manning will let that go. Allow his skill players to take possession. Pushing it into the offensive zone for the Sun Devils is Bellatini, a shot deflected by Schwartz. Kimball loses it. But there's Almisi once again, trying to find Ethan Bellatini. Passes it along the boards, and he will do just that. Bellatini working into the neutral zone, now the offensive zone, looking for a shot deflected by Schwartz. He gets the rebound up along the boards. Another pass near the crease. Passes it to Involson. And now back to Bellatini. Now up top, Involson back to Bellatini. He rips it, and he has a second goal. 2 nothing Arizona State with 15.46 left in the first. One of your alternate captains coming in clutch. It's Ethan Bellatini getting the Sun Devil roll. Keep on going here, 2 nothing lead. Dominant in these opening five minutes of play. Cal State, Northridge needs an answer if they want to stay in this one. Northridge finally wins a faceoff. They have it in the offensive zone, but stolen away by the Sun Devils. They can't do much with it. Northridge still in possession. John Beresha pushing Northridge off of the puck. A pass into the neutral zone. Taking it into the offensive zone is Vance Walcott. He takes the puck behind the net, still with it. Tries to pass it along the boards. The puck take an unfortunate bounce on the skate of the referee. Arizona State loses possession. The Matadors have it in their neutral zone, but quickly lose it. Walcott trying to race to the puck. He has possession. He plays it to his teammate behind the net. Another pass here for the Sun Devils, a shot that's deflected. Arizona State still with it, though. A pass wide, a shot once again deflected. Arizona State still with possession. Barrett tries to get a shot, once again deflected. Allison trying to win possession back. He will do so on the boards, and the Matadors with a two-on-one win it. Now a one-on-three for the Matadors, who's working quickly. A block shot by Manning, and the Sun Devils trying to win it back. Matadors not giving up in their offensive zone. They will maintain possession in the neutral zone, and now in the offensive zone once again. Matadors at a stalemate. They still have possession, a shot ripped, deflected, blocked by Hayden Manning. We still sit at two nothing, six minutes into the first period, six shots on goal for the Sun Devils, just three for the Matadors. If you're a Matador fan, you're glad to see your team finally get some offensive zone pressure. Cal State Northridge has allowed four more goals in every game they've played this season, so they want to stop the bleeding and kind of neutralize it here in the first. Another whistle blown almost as soon as the faceoff got underway. I think about eight seconds elapsed on the, the game clock, so 13.56. And here comes the faceoff, won by Northridge, a quick shot, and once again, another faceoff coming. This time only three seconds eclipsed. These Cal State Northridge defensemen getting some shots on Hayden Manning, trying to get anything to break through and cut the deficit in half. Dusteroff passes it behind the net. The puck goes along the boards. Arizona State trying to win it and then dump it off. But North, the Matadors still have it behind the net. A pass tripped up is Isaac Anderson. Matador still with it though, a pass along the boards. Arizona State finds it on their stick and that will dump into the neutral zone. Looking for a one man advantage. The shot deflected by Seth Mishiewicz. 
Another whistle blown as the Sun Devil got in the way of the goal. Yeah, a very head-on collision there. Tried to go, tried to go short side and bring it to the forehand to get that shot on Miskovic, but couldn't get it, and the net comes dislodged. It will be an offensive zone draw for ASU. They're gonna want to capitalize here and get that momentum back that they had to begin this game. It was Matt Kimball who I believe ran into the goal. They face off one by the Matadors. They dump it into the neutral zone. Arizona State winning it back quickly, a pass wide that is deflected by the Matadors. One back by the Sun Devils, dumped into the offensive zone. And the Sun Devils now have it in the neutral zone, pushing it up ahead. Here comes Kimball, a pass that goes just wide right of Jed Marone. The Sun Devils still looking to win it back in their attacking zone. Bellatini with a pass that he can't find Marone once again. That's back-to-back -back passes where Marone could have had his first goal of the game. Puck behind the net along the boards. The Matadors with it on their stick, and it's now in the neutral zone. Deflected away by Ethan Bellatini, the Sun Devils with it. The pass gets away from Matt Kimball, and the Matadors back with it. Now the Sun Devils with the puck in, their, in the neutral zone. Matt Kimball, poor pass. And the Matadors looking to maintain possession, but Ethan Bellatini will steal it away in the offensive zone. Pass up at the crease, a shot, but it's deflected away. Ethan Bellatini doing a strong job of keeping it in the attacking zone, skating, it's trying to take a shot. It's deflected by Mishiewicz, and the Matadors finally dump it away. Arizona State still has it in their attacking zone. A shot by Vance Walcott gets deflected, and the Matadors back with possession. Pushed into the neutral zone. Taken away by the Sun Devils, and we are gonna get a whistle. I'd imagine a penalty. And it was Ryan Latz who just, with an absolute takedown right at the blue line, entering their attacking zone, got a piece of Johan Gilbert there, got a little too much, and WWE'd him down to the <laughs> turf there. I love the, uh, the reference to other sports, Brendan. 11.48 left in the first period. Sun Devils still lead 2-0. Looks like ASU's gonna have someone go to the box too, so we're gonna play a little four on four for two minutes. I think it was Brock Green. All I could see from here is a six. So it would either be Brock Green or Brandon Bosch. Well, I don't believe I saw Bosch out on the ice. The Matadors win the face off, pushing it into the, their offensive zone. Pass is deflected away by Almisi. And right in the glove of Hayden Manning. Another face off coming up. 11.35 left in the first period. So it looks like the two players who got tangled up there at the blue line are both gonna go to the boxes, Gilbert and Lats for Northridge. Yeah, I thought my eyesight was better than it was. My eyes deceived me. It was a five instead of a six. A shot that time for the Sun Devils deflected by Mishiewicz. The Matadors have it in their defensive zone, push into the neutral, looking to go two on two. Quickly going awry, a shot. Looks to have been deflected by Hayden Manning, it is. Impressive goaltending effort for Hayden Manning of Arizona State, getting the job done to keep the clean sheet. 11-11 left in the first period. 123 left in the penalty box for both Gilbert and Latz. Face off one by Arizona State. In the neutral zone, deflected away. Here comes Christopher Franklin behind the net. Pass along the boards. But Arizona State trying to take it away. They will, pushing it up into the neutral zone. Trying to find a guy wide, he will, but a whistle blown. I'd imagine it's offsides. 
that it would be a good presence there by ASU to try and get something going here on the four on four. Just a little bit of miscommunication on the timing there. Still 57 seconds of extra space on the ice for these four skaters. 10.45 left. The Matadors win it in their defense's zone. Matt Kimball trying to take that away. Unfortunately, he won't. Here comes Wayne Gand, a shot deflected by Mishiewicz, the rebounded shot, and a save for Seth Mishiewicz. He's done a solid job tonight, 11 shots on goal, only allowing two goals in the back of the net thus far. And you and you can argue that he's only allowed one that first when he kind of got hung out to dry, so it's gonna go against him on the stat sheet, but you gotta, you gotta have a little bit of help. Arizona State keeps it in their offensive zone. Ben Wayne Gan passes it to Matt Kimball. He'll play it back to the blue line. Ethan Bellatini with a pass back to Kimball. Kimball's trying to skate towards the, sh the goal. A shot deflected, the rebounded shot by Wayne Gann is also deflected. Bellatini cannot keep it in the offensive zone. Here's a one-on-one -on -one for the Matadors. Hasek. The Matadors lose possession of the puck. Sun Devils with Matt Kimball trying to get something going. They, on, they won't. The puck in the neutral zone. Matt Kimball wins it back. Pushes it into the offensive zone. The four on four now over with 9.43 left. The Matadors pushing into the offensive zone. A shot deflected by Hayden Manning. Strong defensive effort for the Sun Devils. They win possession back, but a poor pass. Has a, a one man up situation. Hayden Manning with a couple of deflections. The Sun Devils back with it. Pushed into the neutral zone. But here come the Matadors once again looking for a counterattack. They'll pass it up along the boards behind the net. Arizona State has the puck back on their sticks, deflected once again by the Matadors. We've seen this over the last minute or two a few times. A whistle blown as Hayden Manning puts his glove on top of the puck. We're gonna get another face off in the Sun Devils defensive zone. But a couple of sloppy passes almost had the Matadors on the board for the first time. Absolutely, Hayden Manning, that last line of defense for ASU prevented the sloppy turnover in their own zone from costing them. The Sun Devils play it up along the boards. And they have possession, pushed into the neutral zone. Arizona State with some clean passing here. They have it in the offensive zone, Jacob or John Berisha with a nice stick move, but goes wide right. A pass deflected by the Matadors. A shot this time deflected by Mishiewicz. Renbarger trying to get there to the boards. Able to deflect it, trying to get the puck away, but the Matadors will say no. Kept in by the Sun Devils, a shot that's deflected. The rebound right into the glove of Mishiewicz once again. And here breaks out a fight. Starting to get a little chippy with <laughs> ASU controlling most of this first period. Northridge looking to get any momentum they can from any avenue they can. 8.21 left in the first, 16 shots on goal for the Sun Devils. Just seven for the Matadors, still two nothing. We saw two quick goals in the first five minutes, but not a lot of action for either team since then. Face off once again won by the Sun Devils. Played up around the boards. A pass right to the Matadors. That time Christopher Franklin who pushes it up. Won by the Sun Devils in their defensive zone. And now pushed into the neutral zone. Dylan Quain asking for it. He'll pass it up but quickly lose it away. Jake Dusterhoff. Now Jonathan Muradane. He'll dump it in. Right along the boards, won by the Sun Devils, Johan Gilbert. Yeah, that's where he's at. Gilbert still has it, plays it along the boards to Dylan Quain. He's in the neutral zone, looking for a man. He'll try and take it himself behind the net here. Now along the boards, Quain still has it on his stick. A shot deflected by Mishiewicz. No rebound opportunity for the Sun Devils, but Quain has it once again. Shot by Wayne Gann. That'll go wide left. Vance Walcott. To Quain, deflected by Mishiewicz. Walcott still has it up at the crease. 
The shot, or pass by Gilbert, deflected by Mishiewicz, Walcott. Hack gets the rebound, back to Gilbert. That'll go just to the left of the goalie net. Gilbert once again, he gets the rebound up at the boards. The Matadors push it away. Now in the neutral zone, a quick line change for the Sun Devils. Dylan Quain has it in the neutral zone, pushes it into the offensive zone. Deflected off of the mask of Mishiewicz. The Matadors have it in the neutral zone, pushes it into the offensive zone. Just two guys in there attacking third. Deflected by Hayden Manning. Again deflected by Hayden Manning. The Sun Devils now have it behind their goal. Lost by the Sun Devils. The Matadors trying to get their first answer on the board, but it will be taken away. Dumped into the Sun Devils offensive third. Here comes Cole Allison along the boards. He won't be able to get there in time. Instead, Jake Dusterhoff up to Luke Gantis. Pass that gets away from Enna Volson around the boards and behind the net. Quain. Pass that just gets away from his team. Another shot deflected by Mishiewicz. Marone. A poor pass by Marone. Takes the puck out of the Sun Devils attacking third. Pushed right back up to the neutral zone. Cole Allison will dump it in. And another quick line change for the Sun Devils. Matadors. Push it up into the neutral zone, now the offensive zone. Connor Manning had it for a brief second. Pass along the boards. Sun Devils take it a, a pass away right in front of the goalie's box. Bellatini from the neutral zone to the offensive zone, a pass. That time to Kimball. Kimball loses it along the boards, and the Matadors have possession. Pushed up. But the Sun Devils, Bellatini, keeps it in the offensive zone for what seems like the millionth time. Mishiewicz will get his glove on top of the puck. Still 2-0, but Bellatini has done a lot so far. And what a busy man Mishkovitz has been in this first period. 20 shots he's faced, and we still have almost five minutes left to play in this first. And you look at Hayden Manning on the other side, not as busy, but still perfect, eight for eight. And he hasn't had to do too much, as you said, Brendan, but when when he is given a task, he, he performs perfectly. 442 left with the faceoff, won by the Sun Devils' Brandon Bosch. Shots deflected, he gets a second chance. Once again deflected away. Bosch trying to win it along the boards. The Sun Devils will do so, but the Matadors will fight right back. The Matadors now have it in the neutral zone, looking for a two on two. The pass won't find the goal. It'll go just left. And now the Sun Devils have it in the neutral zone, looking to push it into the offensive zone. They will. Mason Almisi, a pass right in front of the goal. Nobody there to tap it in. Barrett. Now to Matt Campbell. Gilbert can't keep the puck in the Sun Devils attacking third. He will have it in their defensive third. Pass right up into the neutral zone. Sweeney has it in the attacking third. A shot that is wide left, right behind the net. Sweeney trying to have a little trick pass there. Mason Almisi knocked to the ground. Another shot wide left, right on top of the goalie's net. The Matador is with possession, and they will push it into the neutral zone. A two-on-one for the Sun Devils, and they won't, they won't have any issues with that. Pass along the glass, right back to the Sun Devils defenseman. About three minutes left in the first period. Still, still two nothing for ASU. A pass along the boards, behind the net, and here comes Vance Walcott. The stick or the puck on his stick. Now he's got a couple of Matadors behind him. Still with possession though. 
looking for an open man. Walcott still has it. Puck tipped away. He'll play it behind the net. And now Barisha loses it. The Matadors looking to work another counterattack opportunity. They still have it in the offensive third, but that'll be lost away by Gino Narek. A pass that goes wide is stolen away by Vance Walcott looking for a one-on-one. -on -one. He'll be pushed wide right of the goal, right to the boards behind the net. Ben Wayngan now has it. Pass that gets behind all of the Sun Devils that were in front of the goal. But Baratia had it for a sec before losing it once again. The Matador is in the neutral zone. That is stolen away. But a whistle with 2.01 left in the first period. Sun Devils still lead 2 0. And it looks like John Barisha, the freshman from Omaha for ASU, is going to go to the box for two minutes. So that gives Cal State Northridge their first real opportunity to get something going here. It'll last about the rest of the period and a chance to take two minutes worth of momentum into the locker room. It's the first power play of the game we saw four on four earlier in the period but we have not seen a five on four power play man up advantage yet and it'll be the Matadors who do so the Sun Devils will get the face off they'll dump it right in right along the boards the Matadors now with possession but here comes Almisi trying to do something with it. He still has possession up along the boards. A two on three, the Sun Devils won't win it. The puck pushed into the neutral zone for the Matadors. A three on two, but the Sun Devils quickly getting back into their defensive third. Being a man down, the Matadors have it up at the crease. Passed along the boards, right behind the net, and another pass, the Sun Devils wrapped it around the the wall right back into their defensive third. Quite an impressive feat that nobody was able to get there in time. But the Matadors now back with possession into the neutral zone, looking to push into the offensive zone. They will do just that. A shot deflected by Hayden Manning. Just under a minute left. The Matadors lose it behind the net. Johan Gilbert pushes it up. Mishewitz will play that along the Sun Devils there to attack, looking for a shorthanded goal. Matadors will say no to that opportunity though, as this is pushed into the neutral zone, gets away from his teaming. That being Kyle Warwick, puck behind the net, a two on one for the Sun Devils right here. Another pass along the glass, Mishiewicz Trying to help out his teammate, but the puck going just underneath his stick. 14 seconds left. Perhaps the last opportunity on the power play. Man up advantage for the Matadors. A right, pass that is saved by Hayden Manning. So 3.7 seconds left in the first period. Three seconds left on the power play. And it, is, it seems as if the Sun Devils are three seconds away from their first penalty kill of the game. And barring a miracle here, unless Northridge can get a quick draw and win, they will be able to kill it off. The Matador is able to win the faceoff. They get a shot off, but it was not in time. It also didn't go into the goal. Two nothing for Arizona State after the first 20 minutes of actions, 23 shots on goal for ASU, just 10 for Cal State. Northridge, Brendan, what was the difference in that first period? Zone presence, offensive zone presence for ASU was big, and Miskovic played a fantastic first period given the circumstances here. Allowed two quick ones, maybe a little worry on the bench if you're a Matador fan about Miskovic and the rest of the period, but Came back very strong, stopped all of the last 16 shots in the first period, and looked mighty sharp doing so. The first, I'd say, two or three minutes of the game, the Matadors were the ones with most of the possession, but quickly responding to that was ASU with a goal, and then they responded about two minutes later with their second goal, and, and the Matadors kind of fl fell flat. Do, do you think, 
a quick response and the second period could help turn things around for them. Yeah, and I think one of the things Northridge has to shore up is their line changes. Near the end of the period, some sloppy line changes when ASU's entering the zone with odd, with odd man numbers. Just need to clean that up, and that goes for both the players and the bench bosses there for the Matadors. And if you're able to do that, you're able to minimize those odd man rush chances and maybe get yourself back into this one. Well, after the first 20 minutes, 2-0 in favor of the Arizona State Sun Devils. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Brendan Paul will have pie-by-play for the next 20 minutes. But until then, stick around. We'll be right back.
awesome. I'm here with Matt Kimball. 2 nothing lead so far. How are you feeling and how is your team feeling so far? Honestly, we're feeling pretty good as a team. We've been playing good, making crisp hard passes, forward checking pretty well. We've had a power play, a couple penalty kills. So honestly, I think we're playing good. Me, myself, a little bit tired, but again, we're waking up here. Yeah, I gotta ask, you guys are ending the, pe the period with a penalty kill. Special teams so far has been really good for you guys scoring on the power play. How are you feeling about the special teams tonight? Honestly, in the past couple of games, you know, it's been a little iffy, but we've worked on it now in practice a couple times, a couple times a week, and I think we're really starting to click now. Matt, we saw two goals from you guys, Ethan Bellatini getting one, Cole Allison getting his first goal as a Sun Devil. Saw you guys on the bench, you guys were crazy. How are you feeling for Cole? Oh, I love it when a guy scores their first goal. Again, I had mine a couple weeks ago. A bunch of our guys are getting their first, so, you know, it's always nice to celebrate in the locker room with them. What's something you guys want to take and improve on going into the second period? Honestly, probably our breakout. You know, we're missing a couple breakouts off the glass and out. That's probably probably taken in the next period. Appreciate it, Matt. Back to you guys.
Welcome back inside Mountain America Credit Union Community Iceplex where we're just about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Brendan Paul alongside Jack Bartlett taking you all the way through this one and Jack 23 to 10 and two to nothing in the score. Both advantages for ASU. What do they need to do to keep the pressure on these Matadors from Northridge? Yeah, they gotta keep being aggressive. It's like the shots we saw from Cole Allison and Ethan Bellatini, where they were able to put two on the board early in the first five minutes of the game. And they, they have to keep that momentum, that aggression throughout this next 20 minutes to keep the lead. The frozen biscuits dropped. We're underway for the middle frame here tonight, Arizona State commanding a 2-0 lead as they move from right to left in the maroon jerseys and black pants. Cal State Northridge will counter in white jerseys and black pants here as it's controlled momentarily by Gilbert and they'll lose it back out into the defensive zone. There to corral it is Kimball. Kimball trying to work, he'll get it back to Gilbert behind the net, a collision behind the net as Gilbert falls down to the ice and now it will be ASU and Haddock trying to work it up now to Enevoldson. Enevoldson trying to work it up, he lost the puck. And here comes Cal State Northridge the other way. It's Gino Noraic, who's been one of the offensive presences for this Cal State Northridge team to this point in the game. Northridge trying to keep its stick on the puck, going with a little bit of trouble. Noraic gets it up to Hashik. His shot knocked away. Hayden Manning didn't know where it was. It's deflected, a scramble in front. Manning finally covers it up. But what a chaotic sequence there in the first minute. Yeah, a lot of luck for the Sun Devils on that play for Hayden Manning to finally find the puck and, and get his glove on top of it. As you mentioned, he didn't know where it went. He thought he had deflected it and had gone into his glove initially, but it didn't. It was right next to his left skate. Uh, the, the other issue is Cole Allison. He should have been able to poke the puck away into the neutral zone, but was unable to. And that's why the Matadors were even able to get a shot off in the first place. ASU wins the draw, they'll take it the other way. Had numbers for a moment, it's Patrick Sweeney, the captain, with it on the near left side. He tries to center it back in front. A sprawling save there by Mishkovitz, and he'll cover it up. 18.40 left in the middle frame, and it's 25-14 in the shots department, still 2-0 ASU. And we brought up in the first period, the, the first about three minutes of the game, the Matadors had the majority of the possession and they looked like the, the better team and, and the first about a minute and a half here in the same the same scenario. Face off one by ASU trying to get something in front was Kimball. He couldn't get it past Miskovich. Now it's Cooper Manning with it at the point. Wrist shot from the point is just wide of the cage of Miskovich. And now coming the other way on that far right side is ASU. ASU trying to get something going here in the first two minutes to counter that Northridge attack. But Cal State Northridge will reclaim it here, and it will be Kyle Warwick taking it the other way. Warwick working on Renbarger on the near right side. It's finally one back up to Jake Dusterhoff. Dusterhoff tangled up. It'll be Lats trying to get it out for Northridge. They will be forced to recoil back in their own zone and dump it back where Renbarger had it. He takes a big hit. He is slow to get up. We do have a penalty on the play, and it looks like it'll go on Dusterhoff and he is not happy arguing the call, but that's as clear as day. The referee over to the box, and it will be a five on four for Arizona State. It, you can't do that tripping, and it was, as you mentioned, it was, it was pretty obvious, pretty blatant, and the, the, the refs did a solid job of calling it pretty much right on time. So it will be Arizona State back to the power play the first time in this period, 17.55 in Look at this, they're putting five minutes up on the board for Dusterhoff, and if that's the case, this might be a game misconduct where we see Dusterhoff out of this game. And indeed, a hit to the head of Renbarger, the freshman out of Peoria, Arizona. So Dusterhoff's night has concluded. He'll hit an early shower, and he is not happy, still giving it to these four officials. and. He's reluctant to leave. He's arguing some of the people on the Northridge bench, urging him to get back to the dressing room. He will finally leave and the penalty will be served by Samuel Goldstein for five minutes. So a big opportunity here for ASU. Face off tied up, one by Bellatini. Back up to Kimball, Kimball back to the point for Amelcy. Amelcy thinks about a shot. 
and they'll pass it over to the left for Sweeney. Patrick Sweeney dumping it down on that left side, trying to get something going. A shot on net. Miskovic tall to the task. Bellatini fanned on a shot of Melsi, not able to keep it in. It'll force him out of the offensive zone. About 30 seconds elapsed from this major penalty, a five-minute major, again served by Goldstein as Dusterhoff's night has concluded here. A tie up on the near left side. A couple of Northridge Matadors, and finally Northridge able to send it the length of the ice. Hayden Manning behind his crease to play it. He'll look for a Melsi, a Melsi streaking and trying to get something going. Coming the other way, he's got Bellatini on his left. A Melsi streaking into the zone, tries to find that cutting Bellatini he had with him, but he wasn't there. He sort of scooted away from him, but now Bellatini gets it back at the point. A wrist shot and gloved away in the bread basket by Miskovic. A couple of opportunities that got away from the Sun Devils early on the power play. We saw a poor pass from Bellatini get away from Mason Almisi, who couldn't keep it in the offensive third for the Sun Devils, and they ended up having to basically reboot to get it back in, and then a shot off that time, but here's the faceoff. Faceoff one back to Lewis. Lewis gets it over to Weingand. Issue trying to set some up far side for Lewis. He had a moment, just couldn't corral the one timer on his stick. And ASU will set it back up. Over for a Nevelson. Getting it back up to Weingand. Surveying his options. Gets it back to a Nevelson. Back into the slot for Walcott. He couldn't corral it. Northridge is able to clear it out. A minute and a half gone on this major penalty. Manning behind his net to keep the power play going. Northridge gets a change. Northridge trying to get something going here as it's Weingand with for ASU in the defensive zone. Streaking up center ice, trying to get back into the zone, dumping it back to Nevelton. And he lost the puck. It's corralled there by Northridge, and they're able to finally get it out after some pressure being applied by the Sun Devils again. The Matadors have done a really solid job of getting their sticks out in front and poking passes away as we have seen on this power play today. ASU with 2.48 left on that five minute penalty. Lewis, one of the Sun Devils to sprawl along these near left side boards and Nevelson with it, gets it back up to Weingand. Weingand slows and surveys. He's got a couple of Northridge players attacking him now and he'll dump to Nevelson on the far right side. A couple of guys in the slot looking for a one timer. It went past both of them. Weingand unable to corral the pass up to the point. It'll force Manning out of the cage, back into the defensive zone. Northridge gets a much needed change and they'll take it the other way. Weingand coming into the zone with some speed. Kimball thinks about a shot, circles back, gets it back to Weingand. Surveying at the point, will go point to point for Bellatini. Bellatini surveys to the center of the point, a wrist shot on the far glove side. A little bit of a bobble for Miskovic initially, but he's able to corral it. Yeah, but Another area where ASU has kind of struggled tonight is passes right in front of the goalie net. We've seen quite a few go from one board all the way over to the other side of the ice. And it should be one-timers, one a tap-in goal that ASU just hasn't been able to capitalize on tonight. They'll have a little less than two minutes to try and capitalize here. A shot on Miskovic, he lost it for a moment. It's back up to the point for Amelsi. Amelsi, a wrist shot, it goes high, deflecting into the back of the net. We'll get a stoppage in play. The shots, they were dominant in the first period, 28 to 14 in favor of the Sun Devils, and Miskovic and Manning have both played phenomenally between the pipes. Yeah, absolutely. For Mishowitz, only allowing two goals off 28 shots on goal compared to Manning, who has a clean sheet with 14. You can't really ask for much more from either of your goaltenders tonight. Sweeney wins the draw, gets it over to Amelsi from Bellatini. Amelsi, his shot's blocked in front, and that's the thing that all of the ASU opponents have seemed to do very well, is block some of these quality opportunities when shorthanded. Now an errant stick flies away from Bellatini. He'll leave the scrum on the near, on the far right side and go collect it. Bellatini calling for it as Amelsi dangles along the near left side point. Amelsi getting it point to point for Bellatini. Bellatini, a wrister in. It's knocked away by Northridge. They'll dump it the length of the ice. They're going to get some tired legs off. And now Manning will dump it behind him. And Amelsi looking to recoil and get something going with Kimball. Kimball streaking in. Far right side, 
trying to get something going here in the final minute of this power play. Bellatini, wrist shot. Miskovic had it for a moment, knocked away. Northridge able to get it out, and they have played this five-minute major very, very well. They are 44 seconds away from killing it off. Yeah, definitely one of the more impressive penalty kills if it holds up tonight by either team. Northridge with it for a moment. We have an offsides as ASU a little too antsy to get in the zone. 31 seconds left on the five minute major that Jake Dusterhoff got before he went back to the locker room to dust himself off after the five minute major in game misconduct as it will be a face off just outside of the ASU attacking zone. It was Hashik against Walcott there, won by Hashik along the offensive zone blue line for ASU. It's finally won out by ASU and it's Walcott. Walcott a shot in glove by Miskovic and he's had no problem on that low glove side. A tough situation for the offside call for the Sun Devils. It was Brendan Lewis who was actually trying to get back on sides as the Sun Devils were able to get possession and the neutral zone right in front of the blue line. But unfortunately for Lewis and the Sun Devils, he wasn't able to get back and not a lot of time left on the power play for them. Lewis gets over to Weingand, his shot blocked and almost redirected onto the cage of Miskovic, but it still falls just wide. Six seconds left on the power play for ASU. A shot by Walcott, couldn't get it. A follow-up chance in front is foiled away and Northridge survives a scare. Still some zone presence for Arizona State here, but a crucial kill for Northridge to keep them in this hockey game. And now Northridge with a chance the other way. Lats had it for a moment. Northridge still with it. It's Isaac Anderson, one of the alternate captains of this Matador squad, and we're gonna get a penalty on Arizona State as Kyle Warwick fell to the ice and the coach has called for it on that Matador bench. They get it. It will be Weingan to the box for two. It's actually Brendan Lewis, a guy who was just caught offsides for the Sun Devils, which kind of halted their power play opportunity, then gets sent to the penalty box about two minutes later after showing really impressive defense about 30 seconds prior in the play. Brendan Lewis, one of the natives of the land of Lincoln, hailing from Orland Park, Illinois. And now it will be that Arizona State squad killing it off as that clear ascent the length of the ice. Miskovic corralling it to get something going for this Northridge power play, which has been dormant the entire game. It'll be Isaac Anderson getting it in for Warwick. Warwick, the man who draw the penalty, a shot knocked away. Manning in front, another chance. It's Gino Noraic corralling it, one of the other assistant captains on this squad. He'll get it over to Warwick. Warwick dumping it beneath the blue line. He'll find Schwartz. Schwartz had it for a moment, knocked away by Cooper, Connor Manning rather, and it's sent back out of the attacking zone. Isaac Anderson trying to get something going for Northridge. Warwick with a shot in the slot. It's knocked away by Johan Gilbert. A big play for the big defenseman and Northridge for the time being is gonna be held scoreless. They get it back out to the point to Nureik. Nureik shot blocked in front by his own teammate. I believe it was Christopher Franklin who got in there and now a chance the other way for Arizona State. A couple of loose bodies as it was Gino Nureik who stopped that chance. A Northridge player hits the ice and it looks like it might be a five on three for about 48 seconds if anything is the indicator. The box for ASU swings open and it will indeed be a five on three for less than a minute. And Brandon Bosch being sent to the penalty box off of a, a simple mistake really. We saw pretty aggressive defense from the Matadors as Cole Allison was pushing into the attacking third for the Sun Devils. A really strong and valiant effort by both teams and Unfortunately for ASU, just on the, the bad side of things is now their second ASU guy being sent into the, the penalty box. And for the next 48 seconds, we have a five on three. And Cal State Northridge down to a crucial moment in this hockey game. They're gonna use their timeout here. And coach Rob Morgan is gonna wanna talk to his guys. Rob Morgan, a guy with a lot of hockey experience, played at the collegiate level, was an associate head coach at Yale University, helped develop a helped develop a women's development national program over in China a couple of years ago. So definitely a man who's been around the hockey world. 
and has had a lot of experience in his 20th year of coaching overall, wanting to get his guys set up. Uh, he, he definitely knows a thing or two about the sport of hockey and, and what it takes to, to not just win, but to to win in a comeback situation to down to nothing, 11 and a half left in the second period. Looks like Morgan will send his heavy hitters out there. You have Isaac Anderson, Gino Noreik, Luke Gantus, who has been quiet tonight, Kyle Warwick. And it looks like on that back end, it will be Nick Schwartz. Face off one back by Northridge. It's one to Anderson. Anderson getting it back over to Noreik. Shot by Isaac Anderson is blocked in front and sent down the length of the ice. Corralled by Miskovich. It'll be another opportunity here for Northridge. Skating quickly, Noreik gets it over to Schwartz on the far left side. Schwartz dumps it back to Noreik. Noreik over to Isaac Anderson. Anderson back over by, for Gantus. Looking for Anderson, but gets it to Noreik. Instead, Noreik, a wrister blocked and sent way wide of the net of Manning. It'll be Schwartz back up to the point for Noreik. Noreik over to Anderson. He fanned on a shot, and Arizona State is going to be able to have a break here. It's a one-on-one -on -one and maybe a two-on-one -on -one if they hurry. Here's Amelsi trying to get it over, but they're content to get it out and get back to a five-on-four for the next minute six. 10.26 left in the middle frame. Shots 32-14. to 14. For Arizona State, they also lead where it counts the most, two nothing, as Noreik sends it back down into the attacking zone for Christopher Franklin. A shot deflected in front. Now it will be Warwick on the far left side, getting it down in front, trying to get it down there to Lats. Lats back to Warwick. Warwick over to Noreik, slap shot on the one timer, knocked away in front. These ASU defensemen being sponges as Lats. <laughs> Able to get it over to Warwick. 28 seconds remain on the five on four. Noreik, a wrister from the point. They just can't get anything going in front. Christopher Franklin had an opportunity, but it's sent down for ASU. They'll get a change, a much needed change. And Noreik back to quarterback. The last opportunity here on this power play is the final 10 seconds are set to elapse. Entering the zone is Northridge. A shot in the slot by Hashik over the bar and behind the cage. They'll try and get something going with Christopher Franklin. ASU's back to full strength. We have a whistle with 9.19 to go in the period. And it looks like both these teams are gonna get some tired legs off the ice and we'll reset things here for five on five hockey. Again, another impressive defensive performance right there for the Arizona State Sun Devils. They were in a five and three for about 48 seconds and they did not allow a single goal in for either of the two minute minor penalties. And they still lead two nothing, which is big because if you give up one goal and a two goal deficit, that's, that's when coaches say that's the most dangerous lead. Might not have even given up a shot there. They're still looking at 14 in the shot department as Northridge trying to get something going. But Renbarger, Sweeney, and the rest of the Sun Devils have other ideas. Here comes Warwick. Warwick slows and turns. He's hit from behind by his numerical counterpart in Johan Gilbert. And Renbarger chasing the other way on the forecheck. He is unable to get it as Warwick will control with Lats. Lats slaps it in just wide of the cage of Manning trying to get an offensive zone presence, but Hashik unable to corral it inside the zone. It will be dumped back in to get a couple of players off the ice for Northridge. ASU looking to build on their two goal lead that they established. A turnover, Noreik a shot, paddled away by Manning, a big hit along the near right side boards. Another chance, tipped in front, Noreik a slap shot from the point just wide of the net of Manning. This one stays in, a great keep by Cal State Northridge as they will chase it back down into their zone. Their defenseman blows a tire in front, a turnover for Renbarger. His shot goes high and wide with less than eight to play. Shots 32 to 15 in favor of ASU. A shot in front just wide was Patrick Sweeney, the captain. It'll be Gilbert with it now for ASU. Takes a hit right in front of his bench. Northridge trying to get it out. They will for just a second, but Connor Manning right there to send this one back in. They'll dump Patrick Sweeney. The captain makes a change. They'll get some new bodies on. 
And a momentary chance there for Luke Gontus, who had a break, he was open. His teammate misfired, and ASU will take it the other way. It'll be Ren Barger coming in with some zone presence here. In front for Bellatini, a hopper is corralled by Miskovic with 7.13 to go. The Matadors really needed to score on that power, that five on three or one of the uh, one man up opportunities. They're only down two nothing right now, but the Sun Devils seem to be knocking on the door for a third goal in these last couple of minutes. Renbarger shot just wide to the right side of Miskovic. A battle for the puck along the near left side boards is one out by Arizona State for a brief moment. It's still battled on and now sent to the other boards. Lewis able to keep it in for Arizona State. And now a battle on those far side boards is Pia Testana for Northridge, who is battling in the attacking zone. Keeping it in is Jonathan Muradayan. So a couple of depth players coming in here for Northridge in the back half of period number two, trying to get a change of anything. A shot in front knocked away by Testana. And Northridge able to clear the zone as Brendan Lewis takes it back in to the defensive third where Bellatini, one of the dangerous offensive threats, comes back in. Gets it over to Kimball on the far side and the pads of Miskovic are tall to the task. Yeah, Mishwitz has done a phenomenal job today. 35 shots on goal, has only allowed two goals behind him. 33 saves is quite the number, and we're only 14 minutes about through the uh, second period. Any day, 33 of 35 and now 34 of 36 <laughs> would be a good number for you, but the Northridge offense just unable to get anything going. Another face-off to the right of Miskovic here. It will be Vance Walcott, one of the alternate captains, to take it, and he'll lose it to the Matadors. But Brendan Lewis is able to keep it in. He'll dump it back behind, trying to get something going here. Kimball looking up top to the point. Check that, that is green, 86, 96, not 88. A shot in the bread basket of Miskovic is corralled with 5.51 to go in the middle frame. It's still 2-0. Yeah, Mishowitz, his night is not done, although the numbers might seem like he wants to be, but he still has a lot to do if the Matadors want a chance to, to get on the board or possibly even even it in the later stages of this game. Face off one by Northridge. It's Isaac Anderson who's able to get his stick on it for just the moment. And now it will be Weingam, Rob Weingam for Arizona State, dumping it back to Brendan Lewis, who gets it back to his defensive counterpart in Weingam. A couple of freshmen out there for Arizona State in the defensive zone. It is Dylan Quain who Falls to the ice, gets a little bit of a snowstorm on his pants there, and now a chance for Vance Walcott. Walcott cutting in and able to knock it away as Miskovic as Walcott took a tumble. Now the other way. Here comes Gantus. Gantus trying to get around Brendan Lewis, is unable to do so, but he delivers a big hit in the process, and that'll have Lewis wincing after that one as his bucket got knocked up a little bit on his face there. But ASU back with it, trying to get back on side was Dylan Quain who took a spill, but Walcott was not, was over the line before Quain got back, so it's an offsides. That's the second offside this period for the Sun Devils. Two offsides that could have been goals if they were just on the other side of the blue line. Face off here for Jack Haddock from Fort Worth, Texas. He's gotta be a happy man. As the Texas Rangers from his hometown <laughs> were World Series champions last night right here at Chase Field in downtown Phoenix. A shot sent just wide is corralled by Connor Manning for Arizona State. Back to a Nevelton who's hit from behind. Some ASU players calling for a penalty on the bench. They won't get one. It'll be Haddock around the boards. He takes a big hit and falls to his feet as that one sent down the length of the ice. Manning out to play it. No restricted area here at Mountain America Community Iceplex, so no penalty for coming out to the side of the crease. A delayed penalty 
on Northridge though is Manning to the bench for the extra attacker. A shot just high and wide, Bellatini trying to keep it in with 4.07 left in the period. Bellatini slap shot deflected wide, almost into the netting, just avoids it by a hair. Haddock tried to get it in front, it's knocked away by Ryan Latz, but Arizona State will head to the power play. Yeah, we've seen a lot of impressive stops and deflections from both goaltenders tonight. None more impressive than that deflection from Mishowitz that time, perhaps, uh, not even perhaps, it, it was the, the quickest shot we've seen today and he did a great job of getting right in front, deflecting it right onto the glass as we now have a face off. Christopher Franklin, the guilty party, he will sit in the send bin for two minutes as it will be Bellatini to take the draw for Arizona State up against Norayic for Cal State Northridge. It was interference the call on Franklin, face off one back to Kimball. Kimball getting it across to Amelsi. Amelsi circles and surveys, getting it back over to Kimball. Kimball looking, Amelsi trying to find a wrist shot opportunity. It's knocked away by Miskovich, and he has been a man on a mission tonight as Amelsi, another shot corralled by Miskovich, and he is not letting anything get past him in this second period. Uh, he's putting on a clinic, Brendan. He is putting on a clinic. 40 shots on goal, and there's still 340 left in the second period. He's only, still, to this point, only allowed two goals, which both happened in the first five minutes of the game. Since then, he's been pretty much perfect. He's definitely settled down after that opening five. Manning out of his cage to play it after Northridge sent it the length of the ice for a clearance. Bellatini back into the attacking zone for Arizona State, trying to center one in front. A chance on the doorstep for Dylan Quain but it's knocked away, and now Manning will corral it. The freshman goaltender from Chandler, a local product, able to corral that one. Amelsi trying to get one to Bellatini. Bellatini knocks it down. Northridge wanted a high stick on the play. They won't get one. Centering out in front for Quain, just wide of his stick. A clearance for Northridge. They'll get a couple of bodies off. Isaac Anderson looking very fatigued on that one as 48 seconds remain on the Northridge penalty kill. Kimball back in on the far right side zone, streaking behind the net, trying to get something going. Gets it up to Amelsi at the point. Amelsi surveys, waits, blocked in front. What a block by Hayden Day, who has been a quiet asset on this penalty kill unit for Northridge. Getting it back out in front for Patrick Sweeney. He can't find it. Puck still in the zone. Bellatini keeping it in for Kimball. Kimball centering in front for Dylan Quain. He is unable to get his stick on it. It's finally forced out the final 14 seconds of the power play. This will be the final rush. Bellatini back in, wrist shot knocked away. Northridge able to send it the length of the ice and barring a miracle here in the final two seconds, it will be another kill for Northridge. They are indeed out. Melsi slows up behind his own defensive zone for ASU with 150 left here in the middle period, a period that has had no goals and no score change since the first. Amelsi dumping it in for Weingand. Weingand centering it back out in front, unable to connect with Cole Allison. First time we've called his name in a while and there is the high stick that Northridge wanted earlier with a minute 35 to go. Matadors have yet to get a goal they have struggled on the power play, but with a minute and a half left in the second period, they can be hopeful that maybe they get some momentum here in the final minute and a half of the second period to try and inch closer to evening the score back up. It'll be Mason Amelsi, the freshman, one of the few gophers on this ASU roster heading to the box for two minutes. And it will be the rest of the period on the power play for Northridge and a little bit of time into the third as that one sent the length of the ice. Miskovich out of his crease to handle it. Trying to get it a weak turn over there and Evelson with a chance and Evelson sent it just high and wide. A weak turn over there. Lapse of judgment there from Northridge, a shot kept in by Barisha. The extra forward in this lineup is blocked in front. Now it will be Northridge with a chance, a shot in the slot, they score! Bar down for Gino Norek. He has been a man on a mission 
and he snipes one Bardowski, and the lead is cut in half. Northridge capitalizing on the power play. Yeah, we've talked about a few times the counterattacks from Northridge. None better than that. The, the, the puck was dumped into their defensive zone by the Sun Devils. Mishowitz doing a great job of getting the puck back quickly to his teammates. And as you mentioned, Rake with a beautiful sniper that Hayden Manning just couldn't stay in front of. And they inched the lead from two to now one. We've reached the final minute. Gino Norayek takes a one-timer. Every coach's dream that you can place a one-timer that precisely on net. Norayek did it just then. A crucial moment for Northridge in this one is the final 45 seconds of the middle period. We have a goal finally in this second period and a big one for Northridge to keep them in this game. A one-goal deficit. It's 2-1. Shots 41-16, to however, in favor of ASU trying to get one out in front again for Isaac Anderson, but is unable to connect. It'll be ASU trying to send it out with Ren Barger. Ren Barger getting it over to Sweeney. Sweeney back to Connor Manning, and they'll look to get something going. It's off the skate of Bosch and into the zone for Ren Barger, who takes a spill. He'll tumble down to the ice. No call there. Connor Manning able to keep it in and send a shot in front that's tipped by Ren Barger. Ren Barger sending one into the corner for Bosch. Brandon Bosch battling. The final seconds tick down. And a little bit of aggression here as Sweeney and Bosch have a Northridge Matador cornered near the bench. And a little bit of extracurricular after this one. It's Luke Gantus in the mix for Northridge. He'll skate away peacefully and it won't amount to much. But a 2-1 game heading into period number three. Yeah, the first five minutes of the game, we saw two quick goals from the Sun Devils. They haven't answered since then compared to the Matadors who scored in the final minute of the second period here to close the gap from two goals to one. And as you mentioned, the extracurriculars at the very end, I'm sure we're in for a very interesting and exciting last 20 minutes of action. Especially if the result holds as close as it has been, this will be a very interesting final 20 minutes as we will step aside for a moment. Jack Bartlett will be back on the play-by-play -play for the first half of this period. We'll do a little bit of double duty in this one. We'll be splitting it down the middle. A little tough to do with a three-period game, but we will do our best to do so. 2-1 Arizona State. After two, they lead the Northridge Matadors. You're listening to ASU Men's Club Hockey here on Inferno TV. Keep it here.
welcome you back inside of Mountain America Credit Union Ice Plugs. The Sun Devils with 20 minutes to play, up two to one against the Cal State Northridge Matadors. The face off underway. It was Gino Norake who was able to close the gap for the Matadors in the final minutes of the second period. And that's why we sit at two to one. Icing will be called in the first 15 minutes of action, first 15 seconds, pardon, of action in the third period. So a face-off coming up, and the Matadors attacking third. And this is a big opportunity, Gino Norag taking the job. The man who's been the only one to solve Manning in this game might be nice for him to try and look for the second. Matadors winning a shot up at the point. Another shot that goes wide right behind the net. Matadors lose it. Dylan Quayne has it in the neutral zone. Will dump it in behind the net over on the left side on the boards. Sun Devils still trying to maintain possession. They will. Vance Walcott has the puck. A shot deflected and saved by Mishewitz. 19-19 left in the third period. And the 42nd shot on goal for ASU. And no step lost in the intermission for Miskovic. There is, he was perfect in the second, only one shot, but perfect in the third <laughs> as well. The faceoff won by the Matadors. Mishiewicz will put his glove right underneath the puck. And here we go with the second faceoff in this third of the ice this period. Bellatini on the faceoff. Puck won by the Matadors, pushed into the neutral zone. Brendan Lewis has it, now behind the net. Passed along the board, still behind the net. A pass to the left, trying to find Matt Kimball in the neutral zone. It will go behind the net on the, on the boards. Mishewitz with a pass. Warwick trying to win it back for the Matadors. Brendan Lewis with a pass along the boards. And now Matt Kimball trying to win it back for ASU. Matadors with possession. Kept in by Jed Marone for ASU. A pass to his left. Shot deflected by Mishiewicz. The puck behind the net. Another pass that goes awry for the Sun Devils. Warwick able to push it into the neutral zone for the Matadors, but Sun Devils back with the puck on their stick. Matt Kimball in the offensive zone. Pass to Ethan Bellatini. Bellatini trying to keep it from going off or out of the blue line. Now in the neutral zone, trying to await the Sun Devils to get back. They are now. A pass to Sweeney in the neutral zone. Now up to Bellatini, he'll push into the offensive third. A pass right in front of the net. It goes away from Kimball. Kimball has the puck on his stick now. A shot, wide right. Connor Manny keeps it in the offensive third. A pass along the boards. Ben Wingan can't maintain possession. And then the Matadors poke it out of the offensive third for the Sun Devils. Connor Manning dumping it in behind the net. Puck up along the boards. Barrett to Kimball. A pass gets deflected. Connor Manning has a shot deflected. And kept in that time by Almisi. Barrett, or Bosch has it again. Puck behind the net, now along the boards. Almisi with a shot, just wide right. Brandon Bosch gets the rebound, passes it right in front of the goal, but it is picked up by the Matadors. And now in the attacking third for Cal State Northridge. A pass along the boards. Pushed into the neutral zone. The Matadors trying to fight for the puck back. But ASU still in possession. A pass behind the net for the Sun Devils. Bosch pushing it all along ahead. Connor Manning can't get there quite in time, but ASU maintaining possession. Pass to Bosch is taken away by the Matadors. Cal State Northridge still with possession. A shot that is saved by Hayden Manning. 
Just the 17th shot on goal for the Matadors. It is two to one, 16-14, left to go. Slow going here for Northridge at first, but it seems that first goal late in the second has kind of been their, their inner zen. They've sort of slowed down and really taken control a little bit after that first goal. It might have been the wake up call they needed. Norrake wins the face off, a quick shot off deflected by Hayden Manning. ASU wins it back, pushes it into the neutral zone. Cole Allison dumps it along the boards behind the net. Still with possession is the Sun Devils, another pass behind the net. Cole Allison loses possession. And here come the Matadors with Ryan Latz. Taken away by Allison, rips one, deflected by Mishiewicz. And there will be a penalty that time, a whistle blown, and we're gonna get checking. Looks like they're gonna, looks like they're gonna call the hand pass there. Looks like uh, one of the, might have been Warwick there for Northridge who got that backhand swallowed on that puck and tried to knock it out. And I'll call you for the hand pass on that one more often than not. 15 and a half left to go. A shot from the point saved by Mishiewicz. Vance Walcott and Isaac Anderson having a word or two after the play ends, although no extracurriculars like we've seen in the first and the second period. Two guys, both alternate captains, they want to keep their cool and not set that bad role model for their team. Brendan Lewis, wide open, pass right to Walcott, right in front of the goal, but a whistle blown as the pass was underway. So 15.25 left in the third, about 10 seconds eclipsed from the face-off to the whistle being blown, and Vance Walcott will be sent to the penalty box for the Sun Devils. And just as we mentioned, not wanting to set a bad example for your team, Walcott, 10 seconds later, two for interference, and another chance for Northridge to capitalize on the power play. They have scored their only goal this way, and there's that hot hand, Gino Noreik, in the face-off dot. Face off, won by the Matadors. Another quick shot deflected by Matt Kimball. Jonah Gilbert in the corner trying to win back the puck for ASU. Matt Kimball will do so. Not for long though. The Matadors have the puck up at the point but a poor touch pushes it into the neutral zone. ASU now wins it in their defensive zone. Dumped off by Matt Kimball. Norake has the puck back on his stick. And the Matadors defensive third, pushing into the neutral zone. A clean pass to Warwick. Still has it on his stick, back to Norake, up at the point, across the ice. Tried to play it in, but deflected by ASU. Pass to Sweeney in the neutral zone, gets away. Behind the net, Mishiewicz sets it up for Norake. He'll play it to Papo Ladopus. Warwick with a shot deflected. Sweeney dumps it in ahead. And Mishiewicz gets the save. Norake with Baratia right behind him. Norake showing off the speed, getting past two ASU defenders. The shot goes wide right. That time for Hasek. Matadors still have possession in their offensive third. A pass across the ice. Norrake with a shot deflected by Manning. He gets the rebound. And now here comes Hayden Day. Dumped back into the defensive third of the Matadors. Was Arizona State's Jonah Gilbert. 13-40 with 15 seconds left on the penalty. Bosch tried to take that one away with a shot, but unfortunately, a counterattack situation for the Matadors. They look to strike here behind the net. Unable to keep it in the neutral zone. Vance Walcott finally out of the penalty box. A shot. Brandon Bosch's shot is deflected. We just keep seeing impressive play after impressive play for Mishiewicz. Puck in the neutral zone. Dumped in behind the net along the boards. ASU trying to win that back. Rainbarger 
can't do so there. Couple of Sun Devils along the boards that time. Norake will win it, pushing it all along ahead. Whiffs at the first shot attempt. The second one going over the net. And the Sun Devils just looking to dump this back into the neutral zone. Renbarger can't get there. The Matadors dump it along the boards behind the net. Now ASU finally able to dump it into the neutral zone, back into the defensive third of the Matadors. Pass wide into the neutral zone. Kimball can't get there in time. The Matadors have possession again. Hasek up to Day. Day still has it on his stick. The pass taken away by Kimball, who will lose it on a poke check from Norake. Now Bellantini into the neutral zone. Up ahead into the offensive third, a shot saved by Mishuitz. 11.42 left in the third period. The 50th shot on goal for Arizona State as they still lead two to one. What an impressive showing, as you said, by Miskovich here. Those first five minutes, those two goals, definitely the jolt he needed to be on his A game, and he has been on his A plus game here. As <laughs> this has been a phenomenal hockey game for him, as well as Manning, who stopped 21 of 22. Brendan Lewis can't keep the puck inside the offensive third. Vance Walcott will bring it back inside the blue line. Rebounded by Lewis that time. Dylan Quain trying to take it back. Here's Walcott, puck along the boards. Brendan Lewis will dump it right back. Still on the boards. Matadors looking to retain possession. But here comes Dylan Quain. He'll be bullied off of the puck. But the Matadors not able to dump it into the neutral zone. Having some difficulties defensively here. A pass right in front of the goal. Dylan Quain's shot is deflected. Matadors have it in their defensive third. Brendan Lewis trying to keep it afloat, but Matadors finally able to push it into the neutral zone, and now their offensive third. Now here come the Sun Devils once more. Walcott, a shot deflected by Mishuitz, puck behind the net, and Voltsen now. He'll have the puck taken away, shot by Jonah Gilbert. Well, that's deflected right back into the neutral zone. Wayne Gann pushes it up ahead. Cole Allison trying to win it back from the Matadors. And Voldson trying to poke away with his stick. He wins the puck back for ASU up along the boards. Playing it back to Gilbert. Pass wide to Wayne Gann. It's along the boards. His teammate will win it. Wayne Gann's shot goes wide. And Voldson. Plays it to Gilbert. And now back to Involtsen, who will lose it, and it will be dumped back into the defensive third of the Sun Devils, just under 10 minutes to play. Arizona State taking it from left to right here. It's Weingan giving it up to Neveldson. Still 2-1, shots 49-22 to in favor of ASU. And they lead 2-1 in the goal column as well. Weingan just outside of the attacking zone for Arizona State. As over there it is Jonah Gilbert. We apologize earlier on the sheet we were given. It says Johan, but Jonah <laughs> Gilbert gets a hit along the far side boards from Northridge. And now Northridge will try and bring it back up just out of the reach of Nick Schwartz. Now this one's back to Cole Allison. Allison slows up, jukes out to Northridge defender, right in the slot, a chance. Just couldn't corral it and able to get it out are the Matadors and escape the pressure. 8.43 left in this final period. They score! Brandon Bosch tucked it in the upper corner and beat Miskovic. High blocker side, and Arizona State for the first time 
in nearly 50 minutes. Capitalize, they lead three to one. And this third period, we, we saw a lot of action from Arizona State offensively. They were super aggressive in front of the, the, the goalie net a few times, more than a few times actually, and finally able to get that goal that the Matadors had prevented until now. Brandon Bosch, a sophomore from Normal, Illinois, tacks on the third goal, maybe an insurance marker for Arizona State here in period number three as a Arizona State player. It is uh, Kimball taking a nasty spill up against the boards. A lot of physicality going on in the final eight minutes. 3-1 Arizona State. They're out shooting the Matadors 50-22. to Miskovich has been phenomenal, but Hayden Manning to this point has been just a little better. It is ASU in their defensive zone. Working it up, it's intercepted. It's Isaac Anderson, a shot just wide of Manning. Matadors battling for it. Now they'll back off to get a line change with 7.52 left in the game. Arizona State sending it from, sending it across the length of the ice. Kimball fell to his feet there as Arizona State able to try and work it back in. It will be Connor Manning who had his stick on the puck momentarily, but now it'll be Hayden Day for Northridge. Back the other way is Kimball for Arizona State. Hayden Day, we're gonna try and keep it out. A couple of players come together and Amelsi hits the ice for ASU. ASU back with it in their defensive third, 7-19 left in the game. Arizona State again leading three goals to one as streaking on that far left side is Jonah Gilbert. Gilbert in, he takes a tumble. He's knocked to his feet by Pia Testana. Haven't heard his name much tonight for Northridge, but he's coming up when it matters now. Kimball with it, Kimball trying to center it in front for Gilbert and he couldn't find it, he sent it wide. Gilbert tried to get it across to Bellatini, can't do so, kept in, shot just high and wide. Bellatini on the near right side, shot hit the mask of Miskovic, the net is dislodged and falling to his backside is Miskovic. It'll be Jonah Gilbert who collided with him in front with 6.45 to go, we have a stoppage. Six forty-five to go in the final frame. We will have a face-off just outside of the Northridge zone. Christopher Franklin and one of our officials tonight having a couple of words as the face-off is won back by Arizona State, controlled by Brendan Lewis, sends it over to Jonah Gilbert, who sends a slapper wide of the net just to try and get it in the zone for Vance Walcott. Walcott. Working along beneath the goal line. Tried to center it in front for the extra skater, John Barisha, but to no avail. Lewis will get it back to Gilbert. Gilbert in front, his shot deflected in front by Barisha. A battle in front of the net as Walcott going to work against the Northridge defender. We will have a penalty. The referee's blowing their whistle, and we've got a little more extracurricular between Jonah Gilbert and Ryan Latz as Latz lost his bucket, and the two will be separated, a whistle, and that'll break it up for the time being. But something to watch out for is how chippy this one's got in the last few minutes. Yeah, we've seen that in the, late, the latter stages of each period now, a little bit more aggressive as the period progresses. And the third period is no different than the first two. So it will be Northridge short a skater for two minutes, not what you want to do, trying to claw back into this one down 3-1 with just over six minutes to play in the game. So it will be an offensive zone draw for ASU. They'll send out Patrick Sweeney, Kimball, Bellatini, Amelsi, and it looks like that might be Dylan Quain. It will be Dylan Quain as Sweeney will take the draw against Gino Norayek. Face-off shoved back to Amelsi, corralled by Bellatini. Point to point, they go to Amelsi. His shot blockered away by Miskovic, a shot by Quain just wide. And it will be Jonathan Martinez picking up the minor penalty for cross-checking. Minute 35 left on the man advantages. Amelsi blows a tire in his own end with 5.47 to go in this one. Amelsi 
Skating with some speed into the zone. He's knocked off the puck by Franklin, able to recorral it for a moment, but Cal State Northridge is able to send that one the length of the ice where Hayden Manning will get it out of his crease to Bellatini. Bellatini behind the cage, looking to get something jump started here for this power play unit. Getting it over to Kimball. Kimball on the near right side, looking for anything behind the net, gets it to the top of the point to Amelsi. Getting it back to Kimball, Kimball circling, and he'll play catch with Amelsi at the top of the point. Getting it down low to Bellatini, tried to send it across behind the back, couldn't quite get it as Amelsi working around being heckled by Noraic along the far side boards. Oh, a big hit right there on Dylan Quain as he is a little slow to get up. He's got a little bit of snow on him now as we'll have an icing with 33 seconds left on the ASU power play and 4.50 left in the game, still 3-1. Yeah, you mentioned a big hit. Dylan Quain was on almost kind of sandwiched there. Uh, I mean, it, it was, I couldn't tell who it was uh, for the Matadors, but there was one guy who really came in with the hit, but right behind him, kind of gave him an extra hit as he hit the ice. For, it was Dylan Quain, and definitely not what you want to see for the Sun Devils with just a two minute lead, just under five minutes left. Definitely didn't look like incidental contact, but very, very solid contact nonetheless as Arizona State looking for one last chance here on the power play. It will be cleared out by Nick Schwartz. Vance Walcott trying to hustle in for one more chance. Walcott's shot is just wide to the far left side. Weingang keeps it in. The final second is off the clock. We're back to full strength as Walcott looks for the rebound after Weingang sent it high and wide. A battle for it in the near right boards. It'll be Renbarger. Check that Kimball battling for it. No, it is Renbarger. Walcott getting it over for Cole Allison. Allison dumping it back to Renbarger. Renbarger in front for Walcott. He's knocked to his feet by Hayden Day, who has been a man on a mission here in crucial defensive moments for the Matadors. 52 shots for ASU, 23 for Northridge. ASU leading 3-1, and now a long lead pass. In comes Marona, shot gloved away by Miskovic. What a chance there for Jed Marone, unable to capitalize though. That ASU, was, oh. That was the 50th save for Mishiewicz on the game from the, the deflection of Jed Marone. Sorry to cut you off there, Jack. <laughs> Brandon Bosch getting it back into the zone, but it's dumped back out by Northridge. And it will be Weingand back to preserve a little time here as we approach the final three minutes of our third and final stanza here in this one. A 30 shot differential for the two teams, a two goal differential in favor of ASU in both respects. Weingand trying to center out in front. It's knocked away by Northridge. Northridge looking for anything there. Martinez battling on the far boards with Brandon Bosch. Martinez lays a good hit. Martinez and Bosch tied up amongst the boards. And now here comes Mat the Matadors the other way. They'll dump it in and around the cage of Manning. Weingam plays it for ASU. It's over to Brendan Lewis who will knock it up. He was trying to go for Cole Allison, couldn't quite get it there. Bre Brendan Lewis takes a big spill amongst the boards. We'll have a stoppage in play. This is most likely going to be another power play and it will be a trip on Lats, Ryan Lats, number seven for Cal State Northridge, and one more power play coming for ASU. Yeah, being able to capitalize on this would ultimately seal the game. Yes, it's a two, two goal lead already with about two minutes left to play, but getting that third goal gets you out of the, as coaches would say, the most dangerous lead in all of sports with two. That is notoriously <laughs> the most dangerous lead as a lot of teams have seen it go south over the years. Arizona State hoping not to join the statistic today as that one skates off the blade of Amelsi and it'll be dumped out. 2.05 left in the game, 146 on the man advantage for Arizona State. And with a two goal lead, you wanna see how long uh, they'll keep Miskovic in the net 
for Northridge. They might opt for that extra attacker to get it back to five on five. A shot out in front. Miskovic sprawling to all fours. He's able to keep it out, and it's dumped out of the zone by Northridge. They'll get Isaac Anderson, who was looking fatigued. Isaac Anderson standing at six foot two. A very tall body, a very tired body off the ice as Bellatini comes back into the zone. Centering for Bosch. Bosch didn't think he had as much time as he actually did. That one by Testana is sent up to Schwartz. Schwartz will dump it down the length of the ice and Hayden Manning will have to come out of his cage to play this one. And Miskovich slowly inching out of that crease. Now he's back in it with 55 seconds on the five on four for ASU in a minute, nine in the game. Kimball down the near right boards, turns, surveys, gets it up to a Nevelton, back to Kimball, trying to get inside the slot. The final minute of play here, Weingand with it, gets it back to Kimball. Kimball in front, wall caught a shot, looked like it went in, some of the net move, but it was on the outside. Vance Walcott trying to get around a couple of Northridge defenders. Is unable to do so. A sloppy pass, and Evelson in the slot had a chance, but he's knocked to his feet. A chance in front for Jed Marone, but he's knocked to all fours. Weingand with it for Arizona State. That one caught a body in front and just off the glove of Miskovich with 27 seconds to go. Eight seconds left on the man advantage for ASU. Most likely will be killed off, and it will be by Northridge. Weingand in front, tipped, and they... Ah, they thought they had a goal. It's waved off. It would have been Cole Allison second, but instead we stay 3-1. Yeah, it would have been a very nice and impressive goal, but the referees say it hit off of the left skate of Cole Allison. Yeah, yeah, it's left skate. I'm trying to turn all the way around <laughs> to figure out which part of the body it hit. But yes, the left skate of Allison is what tipped the puck into the back of the net, and that's why it's still 3-1. Final 12 seconds of this one, five on five. I don't think they'll bother to pull Mishkovich this late in the game with a two-goal deficit. The final five seconds are about to tick down, and with a 31-shot advantage, the Arizona State Sun Devils pick up a massive West Coast Hockey Conference win at home against the Cal State Northridge Matadors. They win this one 3-1. And we talk about Miskovic on the other side, but I think we overshadowed Hayden Manning, 22 stops on 23 shots. Yeah, absolutely. The, 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 he had a lot of competition, a lot of shots to deal with. No, none more impressive than Gino Nurek's lone goal for the Matadors, which no goaltender is going to be able to block that here in the ACHA. Uh, nonetheless, though, other than that, a, a, clean sheet, a clean sheet in the other 22 saves for Hayden Manning and another really impressive go outing for him and this Sun Devil squad. One of the coolest things to see in every hockey game, the traditional handshake line at the end. You have a couple of squads who got chippy at the end, a lot of pushing and shoving. It's good to see them paying their respects to each other at the end of the game with a couple of fist bumps and handshakes. That'll do it for the game tonight. Looks like we will not have a sideline interview at the end of this one. The final score 3-1 is now both teams looking to corral the referees here, maybe just to show their appreciation for working this late night game. And while they thank the officials for staying up late, we thank you for listening, for staying up past midnight on every coast except the Pacific Coast here in this one. Final score, three to one, Arizona State defeats Cal State Northridge for Jack Bartlett, Ari Wall, Shane Saya, and everyone else who has had a part in this production tonight, an entirely student-run production from Inferno TV. I'm Brendan Paul. We will see you next time as these two will be back tomorrow afternoon.